Ladies and gentlemen, the Republican nominee for president, Donald J. Trump, and the Democratic nominee for president, Hillary Clinton. Welcome to the official presidential debate of 2016. Thank you all very much for being here. We're going to begin with a question from the CCML video contest. Secretary Clinton, you won the coin toss, so you'll go first. Our first question comes from a high school math teacher. What are all the integer pairs that satisfy y squared equals x squared plus 12? Thank you. I think that is a very good question, and I think it is very important for us to make clear to our children that our country is really great because we're good. Secretary Clinton, thank you. Mr. Trump, you have two minutes. Thank you. You know, we are going to find the best integer pairs, we're going to win, and we're going to win big. Make America great again. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Unfortunately, both of you got this problem wrong. The question was, what are all the integer pairs that satisfy y squared equals x squared plus 12? Let's see what the answer was. Part A asks us to name all the integer pairs that satisfy y squared equals x squared plus 12. We can factor this into the equation y squared minus x squared equals 12, and then simplify into a difference of squares, x squared minus y squared equals negative 12. We can then factor this difference into x minus y times x plus y equals negative 12. Because x and y are both integers, both x minus y and x plus y must also be integers. Therefore, we can find all the integer pairs that multiply to make negative 12. Negative 1, 12. Negative 2, ne 6. Negative 3, 4. Negative 4, 3. Negative 6, 2. Negative 12, 1. 1, negative 12. 2, negative 6. 3, negative 4. 4, negative 3. 6, negative 2. And 12, negative 1. Each pair corresponds to a system of equations where x minus y is the left number and x plus y is the right one. Not all of these systems of equations work. For example, in order for x minus y to equal negative 12 given the constraints, x would have to be a fraction. However, x is an integer, so this is not allowed. We obtain a total of four pairs of x comma y that work. Our next question for today is from the CCML judges. They would like to know all the ordered pairs that solve the equation 4x plus 6y equals 1. This question goes to Clinton first. Oh, um, well, you know what? Donald can take this question first, actually. No, I'm a gentleman, Hillary. Go ahead. Secretary Clinton? Yes, well, I think we should try zero. Have we tried zero yet? We should always try zero first. You know, I know so much about this problem. That's why you should go to HillaryClinton.com to find out more. Thank you. For the record, zero does not work. Mr. Trump, would you like to give it a go? Well, I actually want to talk about Clinton's emails. Clinton deleted so many emails, it was academic dishonesty. That's enough, Mr. Trump. Please stick to the question. It's a lie. Everything Donald just said is absolutely false. No, it's true. Is not. Is too. Okay, that's enough. Let's see the solution. We are given the equation 4x plus 6y equals 1. We can subtract both sides of this equation by 6y to obtain 4x equals 1 minus 6y. We can begin by trying several values for y, and quickly realize that all of these numbers are odd. This is because 6y is an even number, and when we add 1 to an even number, it becomes an odd number. However, on the left side of the equation, we will always have an even number. An even number can never equal an odd number. Therefore, the left and right side can never be equal if x and y are both integers. We can apply the same logic in the other direction. If we subtract both sides by 4x, we obtain the equation 6y equals 1 minus 4x. 1 minus 4x will always be an odd number, since 4x is even. The left side of this equation, however, must also be an even number. This means that, for all integers x and y, there are no solutions to this equation. Another way to look at this is to notice that the left side of the equation is even, and the right side of the equation is odd when both x and y are integers. Therefore, the equation is false for all integer pairs x comma y. Our next question is from the same person. Hillary, Trump, 
you do have any solutions to the equation x plus 2xy equals 4y? Of course I have solutions, but I can't tell you. I can't tell you because if I tell you, then Isis will find out. So, you won't tell us? You know what? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bomb it. Divide by zero and then multiply by infinity. Infinity? Thank you, Mr. Trump. Clinton? You know, I think we need to reiterate that America is great because we are good. Alright, that's enough. You know what? That was the last question. We're done here! Before you go, here's the solution to the last question. Part C asks us to find all integer ordered pairs of x plus 2xy equals 4y. We can begin by factoring out the x to obtain x times 1 plus 2y equals 4y. We can then subtract 4y from both sides. Then we can subtract 2 from both sides. We can now factor and simplify further to the left side. By factoring out 2y plus 1, we obtain x minus 2 times 1 plus 2y equals negative 2. The integer pairs that can make negative 2 are negative 2, 1, 2, negative 1, 1, negative 2, negative 1, 2. We can solve this using systems of equations like in part A. Again, because x and y can only be integer values, we can eliminate some of the possibilities. We find only two pairs that work. I want to thank both the, uh, the candidates, I want to thank the, uh, the university here. This concludes the town hall meeting. Our thanks to the candidates, the commission, Washington University, and to everybody who watched.